LGR Blurbs. Greetings, got a quick blurb for you here about something pretty fascinating, I think, that was recently posted to the LGR subreddit. A user richb93 made this post titled, I encoded the LGR floppy disks video into a file small enough to fit on a floppy disk. And yep, that's what's been done. You got an entire LGR episode able to fit on one single three and a half inch high density floppy disk. So uh, let's go ahead and get that inserted. And I'm gonna be trying this out on the LGR Megaluminum Monster here. So this is a Pentium 3, one gigahertz, 512 megs of RAM, there's a Voodoo 3 card in there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's the thing, I've done a build video on this. You probably are familiar with it. The only difference is I'm running a Windows XP installation. I just swap out SD cards to run different things on here. Uh, but it's easier with XP in this case because there's uh, better support for things like the K-Lite Kodak pack. And uh, yeah, MPC HD and other things. It's just, it, it works a little easier in terms of being able to play back newer format or newer Kodak videos, uh, which in this case, the video is H265. So as we can see, we have a floppy disk image here. Um, there'll be links to all this in the video description. You can actually just get the, uh, the video file on its own if you want to play with just that. But this is the floppy disk image opening in win image. And this you can write directly to a floppy disk. And you just got this Matroska video uh, right here, 1.7 megs-ish. And yes, even though it is over that typical 1.44 meg limit, I mean, that's not really a limit. Unformatted three and a half inch high density disks are two megabytes. Here, this is a disk that has been formatted in DMF. So that gets around 1.68 megs. As you can see from earlier, I just wrote this directly to a floppy disk using WinImage. And it's on there now, just a standard high density three and a half inch disk. And you probably will have to use a real internal three and a half inch disk drive. I've not been able to get DMF to write on USB floppy drives. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out the disk itself. And there we go. We can actually load this directly off of the floppy disk and watch an LGR video about floppy disks on a floppy disk. <laughs> It'll get there eventually. What is it about floppy disks? What makes them special and worth collecting? After all, floppy disks are known to be a fragile medium and have a limited shelf life. Now, you hear every so often as it's playing through, it will start loading more of the data from the disk as it's going through the video. Uh, but yeah, it totally works. And it's surprisingly smooth, surprisingly watchable, even though we've got uh, just a 160 by 90 pixel resolution here. 30 frames per second though, uh, around 31 kbps bitrate on average. And uh, the audio is encoded in apparently Opus format. I'm not familiar with that really, but that's what this is. And you've got a 12 kilohertz sampling rate in mono. The usefulness from a piece of software. They even signify trust, which is evident even today when a floppy disk is used as the iPod. And if we skip around, you'll be able to hear more of that loading. <laughs> That's so novel. Oh man. More YouTube videos need floppy disk loading sounds. And I mean, if there was ever a YouTube video that needed floppy disk loading sounds every time you skipped around, this would be it, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway. That's pretty much it, honestly, that, that's this, this video. I just wanted to show this off because uh, I was impressed. I didn't realize that this was even possible. I mean, I, in theory it is, right? But the fact that it's actually an entire video. You know, I've, I've messed around with putting little like 30 second video clips, uh, H.264 and whatnot, or even WMV on floppy disk. But the fact that this one I mean, it's a full LGR video and it's entirely watchable and honestly in better quality than I ever downloaded 
uh, videos in back in the day, like over dial up, you know, <laughs> and they probably would have been bigger than this even. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome how far video and audio codecs have come. H.265 is fantastic. And the fact that it is to the point where you can get an entire video, you know, about five minutes long anyway, to quality that is at least halfway decent at all, is great. And it looks better on a CRT too than it does on like an LCD, just cause of you know, that effect going on. But anyway, that is pretty much it. Oh, I just wanted to show this off. Um, there's some other things that uh, they've posted on that Reddit thread. So go ahead and check it out. Again, links in the video description. And uh, yeah, if, if you do any of your own experiments, but with uh, putting different video files on floppy disks, let me know. This is got me thinking about some things now of like, hmm, maybe I could do some like LGR special edition releases or something like, because I always had people ask me, oh, why don't you put out an LGR Blu-ray or a DVD or even VHS or something? And I'm like, I, I don't know, that just doesn't appeal to me. But if I could put out an LGR collection of floppy disks, you can bet, uh, yeah. Anyway, it's got me thinking. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and thank you to RichB93 on the LGR subreddit for posting this awesomeness and seeing what can be done with H.265 and the Opus audio format is just really neat and made for a fun blurb.